Hi, it's Rich from Planet PE. So we are in our third podcast, so hopefully you're still with us. Um, and we're looking, obviously, at the BTEC Level 3 course uh, in Sport and Unit 1, which is Anatomy and Physiology. Um, so we're still looking at the moment at Learning Aim A, which is all about the skeletal system. So this will be the first part uh, of the exam that you sit in January or in the summer term. So in the last podcast, we had a look at areas of the skeleton and particularly looking at the bones and the different types of bones. Uh, we've already looked at the formation of the vertebral column and we looked at how bones um, are grown and how we grow them. So today we're doing quite a short one, but it's quite an important one because it's one that I think we'll probably get a question on at some point. So with today we're looking at the functions of the skeleton. So there are eight functions of the skeleton that you need to be aware of. Um, at GCSE, there were some that you had to know. Uh, at BTEC Sport Level 2, you may be slightly more aware of some of these. So there are eight that we have to know. So the first one is about support. So the skeleton allows for the body to maintain shape. It provides a framework for the soft tissues of the body. So what we're saying here is that our skeleton gives us our shape. So rather than being just a, um, a blob like Peter Griffin on Family Guy when he has no bones, um, we are our walking, talking, standing humans as we are. So it allows... The second one is protection. So the skeleton protects our vital tissues and organs. Um, examples include the cranium, which protects your brain, and the vertebral column, uh, which protects the spinal cord. So if we think about our cranium, it provides um, a crash helmet, essentially, for our brain so it doesn't get damaged. It's all about protection. It's going to absorb impact. Um, our spinal column is protected by the vertebrae so that if we had any impact from behind, um, we wouldn't have any damage to our spinal column. So the third one is muscle attachment. So the skeleton provides a surface for your muscles to attach to, which means your body can move. So your muscles attach to the skeleton via tendons, uh, the muscles then uh, contract and then pull the bones, um, and it's the muscle attachment which is the third function. The fourth one is one that you might not know about. So blood cell production. So your bones actually make your blood, which I know sounds weird. So blood cell production. So the bone marrow in the center of the bones is the site of blood cell production. And this is essential um, as large number of blood cells die every minute. So we've got to keep making new blood cells because we are constantly having that idea where some of them are dying and obviously creating new ones. So without that, obviously, we then have an issue where we wouldn't be able to get uh, oxygen around the body to be able to exercise. The fifth one is mineral storage. So bones store essential minerals such as calcium and phosphorus, which are essential for growth. Um, they're then released into the blood when required. So we've got these big um, calcium de uh, deposits in our bones. Uh, it's held there for when we need them to, um, to be released. And like I say, it's released into the blood when required. The next one is leverage. So leverage is really, really important when we're thinking about sporting actions. So leverage, so bones provide a lever system against which muscles can pull to create movement. So imagine if we didn't have these long bones that are creating the leverage, essentially you'd have your hand exactly by your shoulder for instance. That wouldn't be a very powerful movement. So what we're saying with leverage is it's gonna increase the force of any sort of mo uh, moment of mo motion. So uh, imagine a turning force, it's gonna increase the amount of force that we have there. The next one is weight bearing. So bones are strong in order to provide support um, for the weight of our body's tissues and the muscle. Um, they provide strength which helps us to prevent injury. So think about every time you're running, all of your body weight is going through that one foot that is on the ground. If you bowl in cricket, you can get up to seven times your body weight going through your ankles. And that's why sometimes bowlers get injured, but it's amazing how much force your bones can take. So weight bearing is that seventh one. And the final one is about reducing joint friction. So we have synovial joints and they're really essential part of the skeleton. Uh, as they prevent the bones from rubbing against one another. So we've got seven uh, real functions there, and then that eighth one, which is just a real key point about how the joints work to reduce friction. Okay, so just go through those one more time. So we have support, protection, muscle attachment, blood cell production, mineral storage, leverage, weight bearing, and reducing joint friction. So they are the functions of the skeletal system. Now, what we need to think about is from the last podcast is which bones 
are involved in which of those different functions. So this could be an extended question uh, in the exams where you know you may be asked about the functions but then asked to relate it to the bone types. So the long bones are the source of red blood blood red, red blood cell production. Well, that's quite difficult to say. So uh, the long bones are the source of red blood cell production. Uh, they enable large movements and they act as levers to generate force. So there's three different things there for the long bones. Flat bones are mainly uh, protecting. So they are our, uh, protecting our vital organs. Uh, they enable muscle attachment for movement and they produce blood cells in adults, not in children. The short bones increase the stability and reduce unwanted movements. So they help uh, the body to remain upright and balanced and they are shock absorbers, so they help to um, absorb some of the force when we're jumping or running. Uh, the sesamoid bones um, help to ease joint movement and they resist friction so that movement isn't slowed down. And the final one of the irregular bones uh, provide protection uh, for the spinal cord and they allow for movement. So some quick things there I know, but hopefully as you'll see the graphic up it should make it much much easier. So talking about which bones do what, so there that might be a topic that you get in the exam, it might be something we've got to explore further. So as always we want to try and finish with some of these exam questions. So we've got three questions for you now. So the first one, explain how a, a chosen bone is used for protection in physical activity and that's for three marks. Number two, suggest how bones are weight bearing in gymnastics. And number three, outline the role of bones in red blood cell production. So to give you some time to think about those, pause it, come back to us and again answer the questions in the comments if you need any help. So here are the answers. Number one, explain how a chosen bone is used for protection in physical activity. Well, think about any bone. So let's take the cranium, for instance. Well, the cranium helps to protect the brain from injury um, if we, for instance, are playing rugby and were to fall on our head because the cranium acts as a shock absorber for the brain to allow more protection. Number two, suggest how bones are weight-bearing in gymnastics. So the bones in the wrists are extremely strong and thick so they can take the weight of the gymnast during headstands, handstands, cartwheels, or anything similar like that. Number three, outline the role of, uh, of bones in blood cell production. Red blood cells carry oxygen to the muscles and white blood cells to help fight infection and keep the performer healthy. So again, we've got there seven marks worth of questions um, and hopefully you've done okay on those ones. So as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, comment below if there's anything that you think we need to add in these podcasts. So we will be back uh, with our next one. Um, still continue to look at the skeletal system very, very soon. Thanks for listening.